How's it going, outdoors lovers? Uh, we just uh, took a little stop out here, kind of by the Iowa River corridor. Um, this corridor stretches from uh, from Coralville all the way up to about Belle Plaine. Um, it's pretty much all marsh and river, and just about everything from uh, from in in that area is public land, with a couple exceptions where it's kind of broken up and blocked off. But you could just about travel from Belle Plaine to Coralville on nothing but public land. It's pretty dang close. Um, it's a huge, huge, huge section of marsh and uh, and river that is just really enjoyable to see. Uh, they have everything from deer hunting to fishing to waterfowl hunting, upland birds, turkey. It's just a great place for sportsmen to go and uh, enjoy the outdoors. Right now, we're just a little bit, I'd say, west of Amana, of the Whirlpool plant. There's a small marsh out here uh, that uh, houses a lot of geese uh, all the time. There's also swans, t both tundra and uh, trumpeter swans. So me and Drake stopped off here to take a couple pictures and take a little bit of video and kind of show you. Right now, there is... A whole bunch of lesser Canada geese out here a couple graders um, there's two swans two trumpeter swans out here and a whole bunch of speckle bellies you can really hear them uh, doing all that squealing and there's also a lot of uh, snow geese out here in Iowa right now it's snow geese snow goose season so uh, we're gonna be talking to uh, to Jägermeister Outfitters we're gonna be talking to the owner Lynn and he is going to uh, take us along on one of his adventures uh, guiding a couple clients or we might just go out with Lynn himself and film him hunting some of these snow geese so we will get back to you but for right now here let me turn the camera let me roll down my window real fast turn the car on let me roll down the window real fast and I will even show you um, how big this marsh is and uh, how many birds are on this thing check this out as you can see, there are a lot of birds out here. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. You can really hear the uh, the, the honkers. And then every now and then you can hear a couple specks and a couple snows out there, but almost that whole carpet of geese out there is all lessers, all the lesser Canadian geese. can hear those trumpeters you can really hear those specks too So yeah, essentially the geese have moved in. Um, we're starting to see the back migration um, of a lot of these uh, these waterfowl species, and uh, pretty soon we're going to be, you know, shooting uh, snow geese up here in uh, eastern Iowa. So we hope we can grab some of that footage for you guys, and uh, maybe have get get Drakey on some retrieves. Right, buddy? You get the birds. Where are the birds at? You see them? Get the birds! Go get them! <laughs> See, he's, he's, he's pretty excited. He's pumped to go get some birds. So, we might try to uh, 
to get ourselves on some birds with Lynn and uh, well, we we at least want to uh, do some filming uh, and show you guys uh, this this quality of uh, waterfowl hunting we have up here that uh, normally you wouldn't you wouldn't really normally find in this part of the state. I mean, when when people think of when people think of, uh, of snow goose hunting, they really think of going out west, uh, the, like Nebraska and uh, North Dakota and. Hell, even Arkansas. You go down to Arkansas and shoot snow geese and things like that. Not really that much around here. Not that I really hear of. So we'll uh, we'll try to get some uh, we'll try to get some footage for you, and hope you guys will join us on the next episode. We wanted to put out a a, a nice video for you guys so you guys could see all this all this cool waterfowl that's out here. And I am kind of distracted right now because there's a, just a huge group of mallards that is just tornadoing and circling in. It's it's so neat. I really wish I had some a little bit better of, a, of an angle. Um, right now I'm kind of facing in the sun and you can't really see a whole lot. Even with the camera um, on zoom and things like that, it'll be all shaky and make you guys sick from watching it. So I'm not going to try and get any footage of these mallards, but it is just an awesome sight. If you guys ever get to come down here around the Amanas and Marengo, you definitely get to be able to see some pretty cool stuff. Like I said, we'll uh, we'll get back to you here pretty soon and try to get you some footage. So uh, try to keep things exciting on the channel. And uh, please, if you get a chance, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are really going to try hard to get you guys some really good content. Um, not just of killing a bunch of animals and stuff like that, but... I mean that's kind of what we do. We we kill them for food, uh, but just the scenery out here, just being out here, even though we're on the side of the road and cars are going by, you know, those little glimpses in between where you get to see some of this awesome scenery and get to listen to some of the animals. So make sure you subscribe so we can keep bringing you this awesome content, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. And we will see you in Iowa's outdoors.